Okay guys, today we are building the double drum, or in this case, the quadruple drum. Make sure you check out the description below, which has a list of all the tools, materials, alternative elements which could be used to swap out for this piece, as well as any other elements which could connect to it in some way. Just behind me we've got the drums where we've just started digging them into the ground at differing heights so all the kids are going to be playing them and then we're going to cut out a hole in the bottom of them. We're going to make sure that the posts that we're digging are going to be in the right spaces so we can mark those out now. Once you've cut your drums into halves or whatever length they're going into, you then want to bend the edges so there's no sharp edges and you can't cut yourself and hammer them down so you've got a nice lip there at the end. So now we're placing the drum that we've cut into the spaces where they're going to go. We've already pre-dug some holes. We've got these wooden posts which we're going to connect the drums to. So you've got one post on the side and one post in the middle can connect with the two drums. We're using five drums here. You can go as hectic as you like. Plan say a double drum but do it as you please. You want to have a really nice strong foundation for those posts that are going in for the drums. Pack that in as tightly as possible, use cement and then pack the earth around it as tightly as possible. So even if kids are running all over these drums, they're not going to move anywhere. You also want to drill those holes so that you're going to have a slight angle on the drums so they're facing towards you as you're playing. This also has the added benefit of letting the water pull into one spot and then you can drill a hole where that water is going to be uh, at its lowest point so that it'll trickle out and you won't get any mosquitoes or anything breeding in there. For the drumsticks you can uh, pretty much use whatever you can find around. We've just used some sticks for this one because they're going to be reused over time I'm sure with all the kids playing on them. You can attach those drumsticks to the posts as well. Just drill another hole through the post and attach them either with ropes or chains so they don't go missing too quickly. For the drums that we've made here we've gone with four drums as opposed to the double drum which is on the Playground Ideas designs. Again with all of these pieces you can mix and match them as long as you're following the safety guidelines. Change them to suit your needs and your location. So this design, as well as all of our designs, are made to be used in conjunction with the free safety handbook, which is available from the website. It's just down there. Hey, what did you think of the video? Please let us know down below in the comments. And please don't forget to like and subscribe so you can see more of what Patrick's doing in India. You can go and visit playgroundideas.org which has 150 designs and all the resources that you need to build an awesome playground. And lastly, we've got a ton more videos to watch so check them out here.